Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a combination of Painter and Illustrator and creating nozzles via Illustrator. The nozzle is going to be a spherical design so I'm just going to now go to Illustrator, just going to select circle, I'm going to click on the gradient over here and of course I can now just drag that out, position it, there's the basic sphere I'm going to go to edit, copy, to painter, and now I'm going to paste that sphere. Right, so now it's done, I can go to select, load selection, okay, save selection, okay. Now you'll notice the alpha channel comes over here, drop all. So it's all on the same level, it's all on one background layer. Now I'm just going to go to File, Save, make it a sphere, OK, replace. Now once I've done that, I'm actually just quickly get rid of that so I don't want that anymore. And I can go over to the loader nozzle, sphere, OK, set the definition width and height, which was 700, 700. And you know, so select the brush, linear size, etc. Just quickly paint. So straight away you can create abstract. And it's a bit slow on this because it's actually a. I'm recording the, uh, the image, but if you weren't actually recording, it would actually be quite quick. So you can just quickly apply that out. And of course, with with all nozzles, you can actually set various things, different sprays. So again, with the symmetry effect. Again, like I say, it's a bit slow. I'm just going to change that one. Reduce the size down a bit. And so basically you can apply thousands of different times designs using this. And in this case, I'm using the symmetrical tool as well. You can see the symmetry there. And it will stop at some point building its design. Yep, it's just finished. and. I'm using the symmetry tool, Kaleidoscope, and I've set it to about eight. So anyway, that's a quick and easy way of creating interesting designs using Illustrator and Painter in combination.